happy new year. So I got my hair cut yesterday and this is actually the first time I've straightened it. So I like it. I think it'll be good. Um, I am one of my new year's Eve goals, which I'm going to be filming my like aspirations and goals after this. Um, but one of them is to take care of my hair better because I certainly in the past have let it go and I really want to make sure I'm, you know, being good to my hair. So that's not what today's about. Today is about my one month update for the Lorac Pro. Um, I am doing pan this palette with this palette here. And um, yeah, so I started on December 1st. And every day I've worn eyeshadow, this is the palette I've used. I haven't added anything else in. Um, powder wise, I have added in a gold cream shadow. But other than that, nothing but this. So I am excited to show you how far I um, have gotten. I do want to say like, I probably averaged wearing makeup six times a week. There were a few days, I usually wear makeup every day, but there were a few days where I just didn't really, just didn't, and that's okay. So um, yeah, averaging about six days a week, this is what you can do in one month to the Lorac Pro. I know a lot of people are starting either today or tomorrow, so good luck. You can totally do it. So here is my palette. Um, I will at the end have a picture of where I started and then where I'm going to be and then where I am with this update so you can really see the difference. And I'm going to be doing that every single month. Someone um, in the comments on my intro video asked if I would do that, which I am already doing because I am, um, I don't know, I just thought it'd be interesting to see the pictures and whatever. Um, on my personal Instagram page, I'm like Instagramming it for, you know, friends and whatever. So yeah, let's, let's open this bad boy up. So one month, one whole month got me here. So I have pan on two shades. I pan on white and pan on light bronze here. Yay. So I'm really excited. I also have some dips here. I have a good dip going in gold. Um, working on champagne. Champagne is not my favorite shade. Um, and then down here, I use slate um, on my lower lash line and there's a good dip there and then black and brown I've been using to set my liner. So yeah, I'll just let you look there. So I'm going to go through and how, tell you how I've been using every shade, if I've used the shade, that kind of a thing. Um, I just filmed another um, get ready with me for this look. I actually wore this look earlier. Um, it was in one of my other videos and a lot of people commented on it. So um, yeah, I recreated it and I did film a get ready with me. That'll probably be up sometime next week or so. I'm not really sure, but I have it filmed. I just have to like edit it. So um, yeah. Okay. Lorac Pro. Here's what I'm going to say. It's really messy and it's very powdery and there's a lot of fallout. So I always do my eyeshadow first. If you don't, I did it once with doing my foundation first. Ugh. I would definitely recommend doing your eyes first and then you can, you know, clean up underneath because this stuff gets everywhere. So anyway, white. There is a big spot of pan in there, which I'm super excited about. And this one, I use white every day from my lashes all the way up to my brow bone and I use it as a brow bone highlight. So I put it down, um, so I have my eye base and then I put the white over it and that just really helps keep... Um, my shadows from sticking too much. I mean, I want them to stick and stay, but I don't want them to be hard to blend. So that's kind of like, you know, a good thing to do. And I like to use it if um, out here it gets a little bit too dark, I can just put some white there. And it's almost like an eraser for me at least. So I really have been enjoying that. Um, next to it is cream. And I actually have not touched cream. I'm, I've decided I'm going to go through white first and then I'll go through cream afterwards. Um, so I have hit a big pan on white and I think... Um, I'll, you know, be very close to being done with it after the next month, hopefully, um, just because I do use it every day and I use a lot of it. So when this one's done, then I'll go on to cream. This is taupe. For a while, I have been mixing taupe and white together, but now recently I've just been using taupe and then if it's too dark, I just put a little bit of white over it and it kind of, you know, tones it down a little bit. So it's nothing crazy. So taupe has been my crease shade. There is some mark in there. Um, I use a really fluffy brush like, well, like this one. So when I put it in, I just kind of dab it in like that. Whereas with the white and, um, you know, the other shades, that I use on my lid, I really focus where I'm putting the brush. So that's why there's not a ton of a dip in there, but I think I'm wearing it out more evenly. Light pink, there's a nice dip in there. I use a pencil brush 
and I use that on the very inside of my eyes right there to um, just brighten up. And then mauve I really haven't used much. I think I've used it maybe two or three times in my crease. I've just really been focusing on using taupe because I do prefer mauve over taupe and I kind of just want to get through taupe and, you know, use it up. So, um, yeah, I haven't used that one too much. Sable is this dark. It looks like a dark brown, but I think it's a little bit darker than that. Um, it's very warm. I like it, but... Um, um, yeah, it does come off very dark in me. It's what I have like on in my crease crease um, And you'll see that in my get ready with me, but and then down here espresso and black I've been using a flat Liner brush like this. This one's from elf. It's called the professional eyeliner brush. It's like a dollar um, So it just looks like this and I have been focusing my brush as you can tell and then I just stamp it on top of my eyeliner and it works really well um so those two are getting good dips. And just a reminder, these four shades here, the dark brown matte, the black matte, slate, and deep purple, those ones I just want to hit pan on. And then from here all the way over, those are the ones I actually want to use up all the way. So um, I am getting closer every day to hitting pan on those. I've been using brown and black probably evenly. It looks like there's the same amount of dip. Um, I'm using up in my project pan the Urban Decay double sided liner so there's a black and a brown there and whatever color I decide to use that's the color I set it with. Um, so yeah let's go down here we'll go from this side. This is Slate. I use it on my lower lash line with the same brush. I mean it's a different one but the same cut of a brush. Deep Purple I haven't used too much. I think I used it in my crease and outer V maybe once or twice. Um, I haven't used it too much. I do have a purple eyeliner that I'm probably going to pull out here soon and use this shade to set that. Um, and I might play with this on my lower lash line a little bit more. It's very dark. I mean, it doesn't look too bad here. But when it's in your eyes, it's very dark. At least maybe for me because I'm pretty pale. This is Garnet. Garnet is a beautiful color. I have a little bit on today. It's um, it's darker than a rose gold, but it's very pretty. You can wear it on the lid. You can wear it on the outer, you know, part of your lid. So I really like this one. And then this is Pewter. I also like wearing this one kind of like the outer, like third or half of my lid, just to add some more dimension. It's very pretty. Light bronze here. This is my favorite shade in the palette. Um, so this one has been getting a lot of love. I love using this one on just all over my lid and you know, it works out really well. This is gold. Gold is very yellowy. Um, but I personally, I have blue eyes and I think gold really makes them pop. So I like this gold and I know some people, you know, prefer something like this over this. So what I found, and I'm going to do a get ready with me doing this, where if I put down gold and then I layer champagne over it, I get a similar color to this one. So because I already hit pan on this one, I'm probably going to be focusing on these more and layering them. Um, right now my goal is to just get pan showing on a lot of these and then I'll work on using them up. At least that's my plan. Um, I know everyone goes about it differently. So this is champagne. It's a very glittery shade. Um... There's a lot of fallout. It looks pretty concentrated like that, but on a swatch on my hand, it just, I don't know, fades away very quickly. So I've been using a wet brush, um, a pencil brush for my inner corner, like my tear duct. Um, and then I also have been putting it on my eyelid a little bit as well. And the nude here, I haven't used too much. I think I might try to use it as a highlighter. I'm working on a highlighter in my project pan right now, so eh. But, um... Once I'm done with champagne, I'll probably be using this as that, you know, for my inner corner and all over the lid as well. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with my palette. Like I said, I have a look coming up soon. Um, this look, actually. And I'll show you how I did that. And then I will do a look layering the gold and the champagne so you can kind of see what I'm talking about and how that looks as well. But um, if you have any shades that you'd really like to see a look with, please let me know and I'll, I'll work, you know, I'll practice and figure something out and um, work it out and so I can film it for you guys. But yeah, so that's where I'm at after one month. I know a lot and a lot of people are going to be starting panning that palette. I know people are doing this palette. I've heard a lot of people planning to do another one. So if you are doing a pan that palette, please, 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 please let me know because I love watching these videos and I think other people would love to go through the comments and see who else is doing them. So if you are starting this palette, um, I don't have any like extreme tips. I would just say that you know it does have a lot of fallout, like I said. Um, and if you concentrate your brush, you're going to hit pan quicker, um, in my experience. So 
those are the only two things um, I really have to say. So I, I don't know. I wish everyone the best of luck. I hope you are as excited as I am using this palette. I will say that I haven't been bored with it yet. I feel like this is a really great palette to pan. This is my first time ever panning a palette. So this one I thought was a good one because there's so many colors. There's matte shades and shimmer shades. And because, um, you know, all the different shades really work together well. It is a neutral palette, but you have some colors in here. So I'm not bored yet. And um, each like eyeshadow pan has 0.55 grams, I did the math, um, of product in each pan. So there's not a ton of product. I mean, that's still a lot of product, but not like an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. Those have, I believe, 1.5 grams in each pan. I could be wrong. It could just be a gram, but that's a lot of product. So this one's a good one to start with if you have this one, or if not, that's okay too. Pick something else if you are, you know, up for it. So yeah. This is where I'm at. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'll have the picture of where I started, um, and then I'll have this update picture as well. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I will see you guys in one more month for another update, and hopefully I'll have pan showing and more shades. Um, yeah, so that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. If you are doing Pan That Palette, like I said, please let me know. I cannot wait to see everyone start this. And I can't wait to see the looks that people come up with. Um, if you're doing the Lurac Pro, please put up a look or two. You know, it just really helps thinking about other ways I can use up these eyeshadows. And I've already seen a couple people put up Lurac Pro um, looks. And I've been looking them up just to give myself variety. You know, these are the shades I'm going to work with. I'd like to know how many different ways I could use them. So, yeah, I hope you guys are excited and looking forward to the new year. And I will see you guys in one month with another update. So, thanks for watching.